Hello and welcome to Frontier Community Access Television. Uh, Tom Albert, Ben Roberts, and the rest of the FCAT crew. It's going to be uh, Kenzie Pollan on the mound for the Green Wave, and Ashley Taylor up to bat for the Red Hawks. So no one count. Pollen delivers. Swing to miss. Strike two. 0 2 count. going to be ball one. One, two count. Ball and delivers. And that will be away. Two and two count. See if Taylor can get on now. Paul looking to strike. Strike Taylor out. And I'll be in the dirt for ball three. Good job by Taylor laying off that one. Three, two, full count. Payoff pitch, strike three, called. So, one out. In the top of the first, it is green wave. Uh, it's all tied, nothing to nothing. That'll bring up Delaney Lou Fightfield. She is the catcher for the Red Hawks. Ball and delivers. Called oh, strike one. So now Fightfield has seen it. Comes the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike two. Oh, two count. Payoff pitch for Pollen. Swing and miss, strike three. Two back to back strikeouts for Kenzie Pollen. And I'll be bringing up Skylar Steele, the shortstop for the Red Ox. And that on deck is uh, Luke Michon. See if Skylar can get things going here with two outs. Comes the pitch from Pollen. And pop up. And Pollen will make the catch for out number three. One, two, three. That will be three outs. Three up, three down. And we'll go to the bottom of the first inning where it will be the Greenfield Green Wave um, up to bat. And it will be Anna Bacala, the third baseman for the Wave. Lying outside for ball number one. And it's uh, Rana Bonzi. On the mound for Red Ox. That's a good pitch called strike one. Evens it up one and one now. Fonzie delivers. Strike two called right down the middle. So one two count for Anna Bacala. Here comes the pitch, and way outside, ball number two. Evens it up two and two now. Yeah. 
Here comes the pitch. Grounder over to second base. Adams over to Pinardi for out number one. All right, so that will bring up Ainsley Flynn, the catcher for the Greenfield Green Wave, which she came up big last night against Hampshire to have a walk-off winning run in the bottom of the 10th inning, so. Comes the pitch. Outside for ball number one. One and no count. Wanze, Wanze to deliver. Oh, did not go. Didn't go. Nice pitch though from Wanze. And 2 0 count. Here comes the pitch. Called strike one. Two and one count now for Angie Flynn. Infield bench making some noise. Comes the pitch. Called ball three. A little high and outside for that one. Three and one. Here comes the pitch. And in the dirt, ball four. So Angie Flynn will get on base with the walk. And that will bring up uh, Kenzie Pollen, the pitcher for the Greenfield Green Wave. He's been a very clutch hitter for the Wave this season. And on both sides of the field, she's usually played well. So it's going to be a good battle here between Wanze and Pollen all night. Pollen will be ball number one. One out, runner in first. Comes the pitch. High fly ball. Center field, Taylor eyes it down and makes the catch for out number two. Two outs, and that will bring up number seven, Carly Blanchard. She's over at shortstop for the Greenfield Green Wave. Shows bunt, pulls it back, and that'll be a strike. Oh, one count. Oh, one count. Once he delivers, fouled, and out of play. Oh, two count for Carlo Blanchard. Two outs, runner on first. 0 oh, 2 count. Here comes the pitch. It's called strike three. Frontier gets out of it. Wanze does it herself. We will go to the bottom of, or top of the second inning. Where it is the Frontier Red Ox versus the Greenfield Green Wave. And we will go to. Number nine, Liv Michon, the left fielder for the Red Hawks. She'll be up to bat. Frontier's yet to get a hit. Kenzie Pollen struck out the first two batters. And then Steele popped out to Pollen. Swing and a miss. So, strike one there. Oh, one count. Grounder over to the first baseman. She'll feel it, but Mashawn will get there in time. Good job by Mashawn running it out there. It's fielded by uh, number four, Megan Collins there. It was a nice contact hit, though. Hard hit ball to first. And that'll bring up Sophia Pinardi. On deck is Gabby Adams. 
Comes a pitch, swing and a miss. She's seen it. A one count. Let's see if Michonne gets the steal here. Holland delivers, shows bunt, and oh, Panardi, uh, Panardi almost got it, got it down there, but it's fouled back. 0-2 count. Could see a little hit and run here. Here comes the pitch from Pollen. Swing and a miss, strike three. So one out. And that'll be strike out number three for Pollen. Now bring up Gabby Adams. One out and Michonne over at first base. Shows bunt, she'll get it down. Runner will cover first. That was the right fielder. Um, Ellis, uh, Ellis B. So that puts Michonne in scoring position with two outs. So this is a big at bat for Haley Okoski. Lefty for the Hawks. Comes the pitch. All strike. A little low. But. Oh, one count. Koski's one of the seniors for Frontier. Here comes the pitch from Pollen. And that one, a little high. Koski. Grit swinging at that one. 0 2 count. what Pollen does here on the pitch. Comes the pitch. Koski got a hold of it. So she does a good job staying alive there. Still no two count. Pollen delivers. And swing strike three. That will end the top of the second inning. Uh, we will go to the bottom of the second where it will be Greenfield Green Wave. Up to bat, it will be Gloria McDonald. Or Gloria McDonald. Or the wave up to bat. On deck is Ivy Ray. And waiting is Ellis uh, B. So, 1 0 count. Here comes the pitch. Grounder down the first base on tips it. Adams will throw it over to Penardi. So, there you go. They still get the out, even though it uh, deflected off of Penardi's glove. Just rolled right to Adams. So, one out. And that will bring up Ivy Ray, the uh, second baseman for. Greenfield Green Wave. From the pitch from Reyna. Grounder again to Penardi. She'll field it, take it herself, and steps on one for out number two. Good job, girl. Good job by Frontier. And that will bring up Ivy Ray. Or nope. Ellis, Ellis Benez. Benez. Ellis B. So two outs, a lefty here. Here comes the pitch from Reyna. Called strike one. Oh, one count. Here comes the pitch. Shows bunt. Pulls it back though, almost a running bunt. One and one. 
Greenfield bench making some noise. Here comes the pitch. Ooh, high and inside. Two and one count. Uh, Ellis had to get out of the way. Get out of the way there. And on deck is Megan Collins, the first baseman for the Wave. 3-1 count. Here comes the pitch. Called strike one. One thing I was almost quarter of the way down the first baseline, so. Three, two, full count, I believe. Kwanzi. Delivers, foul goes into the, the Waves dugout. So count is still full, 3-2. Comes the pitch. And Frontier thought it was a strikeout, but a little on the outside. So, uh, Ellis will walk there, and that will bring up Megan Collins, first baseman for the wave. The pitch. High for ball one. One to no count. She steals. And oh, almost had her. Two and out count for Collins, and almost a steal by uh, Ellis there. Or no, she did get a stolen base. And it's a big at bat now. Scoring, running in scoring position. Fly ball into shallow right field goes down the foul base foul line and uh, stays foul. So two and one count for Collins. Come on, four, you gotta have you here, kid. Come on, stay high. Come on, Megan, gotta have you here. Here comes the pitch. Called oh, strike two. Ends it up two and two. Payoff pitch, swing and miss, strike three. Fightfield catches it for out number three. All right, so we go to the top of the third inning. Will be the Hawks up to bat, and that will bring up number 21, Raina Wanze, or Wanze. And then, she, she, yeah, she's on the mound for the Red Hawks. And on deck is Whitney uh, Campbell. Swing and a miss, woo. She had a good eye on the ball though. Good pitch by Pollen. Here comes the pitch, woo. Swing and a miss. So 0-2 count for Reyna. Big trick here is always keep your eye on the ball. Try to get, just try to get a hold of it now. And swing and a miss, strike three. That'll be strikeout number five for Kenzie Pollen. We'll bring up Whitney Campbell. Called strike inside, inside. Just got the inside corner. 
She's the right fielder for the Hawks. Uh, that was mainly the position I played towards the end of my career, right in left field. And inside, she laid off that one. Good eye by Whitney. One and one count. Just gotta see it and drive it. Allen delivers. Called strike. At the outside corner almost. One and two count. And one out here in the top of the third inning. Still, still tied zero to zero. And that one gets away from Paul, so evens it up, two and two. Still swinging at anything close. And Paul to deliver, swing and miss, strike three. That'll be strikeout number six for Paul. Struck out two in the first, two in the second, and now two in the third. And we'll go to the top of the order, Ashley Taylor. She's in center field for the Hawks tonight. I really think this game will come down to who scores first. And if whoever scores, they just got to hold on defensively. That'll be strength, swing to miss, strike one. 1 count. Paulin delivers, and that'll be inside low for ball one. Evens it up, one and one now. Here comes the pitch. Grounder down the third baseline will be foul. And um, that'll make the count one and two. One and two count. Called strike three. Looked a little outside. Taylor not happy with the call. We'll go to the top of the, or bottom of the third inning. Still tied, nothing to nothing. Tom Albert and Ben here tonight. It's called strike one. The batter is number nine, Grace uh, Lowry. The left fielder for Greenfield Green Wave. <laughs> that one comes over near Ben <laughs> and myself. As long as it doesn't hit the, the camera equipment, we're good. That one's fouled off. Here comes the pitch. Little high for a ball. One and two count. And the pitch. And dirt evens it up two and two now. Still two and two, or grounder over to the shortstop. Steele will field it, throws it over to first, and that will be out number one for the Hawks. And field, fight field was coming down the first baseline as well. 
So one out, and that will bring up number 15, top of the order, Anna Bacala. No hits so far in this game. Actually, no, I stand corrected. Sean had one in the first inning. Or the second inning for Frontier, but Greenfield yet to get hit, I believe. Still tied nothing to nothing, zero to zero. Juan Zeta delivers. I for a ball. Hall oh, struck out her last at bat, I believe. And now be high for a ball as well, high and outside. O2, I believe. That one's down the middle for a strike number one. Nice pitch by Wanzi. Here comes the pitch. Swing and a miss. Nice pitch again by Wanzi. Two and two. Greenfield bench trying to make some noise. Comes the pitch. Grounder over to shortstop again. Steele will field it, throws it over to first for out number two. Back to back plays by Scott Steele Steel over to Penardi. That will bring up Ainsley Flynn, the catcher for the Greenfield Green Wave. On deck is Kenzie Pollan waiting in Scarlet Blanchard. Wanzi delivers. And that'll be in the dirt for ball number one. One and out count. Wanzi delivers. Called strike one. Evens it up. One and one. Nice pitch. Again, Ainsley Flynn's batter. Wanzi delivers. Blooper into right field. That will drop in for a hit. And that will be the first hit for the Greenfield Green Wave. Ainsley Flynn having fun with two there. Frontier still has two outs. And the batter will be uh, Kenzie Pollan, the pitcher for the Greenfield Green Wave. As I like to call it, it's mono versus mono, pitcher versus pitcher. See who wins this battle. I believe uh, Wanzi got her out in the first inning. Grounder. Back to Wanze, she'll field it, throws it over to first for out number three. So Wanze, one pitch, one out there, and Frontier gets out of it. And we will go to the top of the fourth inning where it's still tied, zero to zero. In the top of the fourth inning. The batter will be Delaney Fifield. And that will bring up yeah, Delaney Fightfield on deck is Skyler Steele. And waiting is Liv Michon. Swing and a miss. <laughs> Frontier's bench saying, don't forget the hammer. Swing and a miss. One's high and outside, so. I feel regret swinging at that one, but she did, Paulin did get her to chase. So 0-2 count. And here comes the pitch. Outside off speed. And yet to see that before from Paulin. So. One and two count for Lou Fifield. Here 
Here comes the pitch from Pollen. Swing and miss, strike three. Greenfield, that'll be strikeout number eight for Kenzie Pollen on the night. And that will bring up Skylar Steele for the Frontier Red Ox. Here comes the pitch. Inside, called strike. I don't know about that call. Pollen delivers. Ooh, Ospi gets steal the chase. 0 2 count. It's like an interesting curveball almost. Two count. Here comes the pitch. I for ball number one. Good job by uh, Steele for not chasing on that one. She had short stop for uh, the night. I know she has a bunch of home runs on the season for the Red Hawks. See if she can get a hold of one here. Swing and miss. Strikeout number nine for Kenzie Pollen. And that'll bring up the left fielder, Liv Michon. She did get on her last at bat. The only frontier hitter to get on base. So far in this game. Pollen delivers. Strike one looking. deliver. Mashawn gets a hold of it. Uh, and the second baseman throws it over to Megan Collins at first. And that'll be out number three. We will go to the bottom of the fourth inning. Word is still tied 0-0 zero to zero here at the Greenfield uh, softball field. The batter will be number seven Carly Blanchard. On deck is Gloria McDonald and waiting is Ivy Ray for the Greenfield Green Wave. Juan Z delivers, shows bunt outside. So she lays off that one. 0 2 count, or 2 0 count for Carly Blanchard. Shows bunt again. All three. 3 0 count. Lonzi will have to work all the way back here. On chart, all she has to do is. What? I don't know about that call, but. Walk there for Car Carly Blanchard. And that will bring up Gloria McDonald. On deck is Ivy Ray. And waiting is Ellis uh, Benitez. And that one in the dirt. Blanchard takes off the second. She'll get a steal. Good stolen base for Carla Blanchard and puts a runner in scoring position with no outs here in the bottom of the fourth inning. So Frontier will have to work hard to not let Greenfield score run here. Comes the pitch. Strike one. One and one count. For Glory McDonald. Center fielder for the wave. Anze delivers. Inside for a ball. Two and one count. Here comes the pitch from Monzi. Swing and a miss. Strike number two. Evens it up, two and two. Come on, one. 
See what McDonald can do here. She'll have to protect. Swing that anything close. Comes the pitch. Low for a ball. 3-2 full count. So once he's got to throw it down in the strike zone here. You do not want to walk another batter here. And that'll be ball four, so. Coach Gary Dean will check on Reyna. Monze delivers, show, show a bunch. Nice stop by Fightfield. Caught that with their arm. Strike number one, 0 1 count. Runners on first and second for Ivy Ray. Grounder and gets past Adams. And she'll take, Brian Chard will take off the home. And a nice RBI single for Ivy Ray. And the Greenfield Green Wave will take a one to nothing lead here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Base it. Base hit will score another run. I'm not sure what was going on there. And the batter will be Ellis uh, Benitez. Lefty for the wave. Grounder over the shortstop. Takes, Castillo takes it herself. And it will go out of play. So an RBI fielder's choice. And uh, Ellis will take second there. That will bring up Megan Collins, where now the score is two to nothing. Greenfield Green Wave on top by two. So one out here in the bottom of the fourth inning. I'll be in the dirt. I feel good stop. So one and zero count. One Z to the lover. I outside for ball number two. Two zero count. Pop up. Adams will take it herself. Oh no, she'll drop it. Oh no. Oh no. So Gavin Adams makes an error there. And that will just that could have been two outs, but now it's just one. And that will bring up Grace Lowry. So what could have been two outs is now just one. Still one. Now we'll get by Fight Field. Oh! oh! My goodness, they threw it down to third, and I think they got him, but. What a throw by Fight Field. Getting in that ball quickly that got away from her. But both players will get a stolen base there from a wild pitch. They'll bring in the infield. Plays the home. Here comes the pitch. Outside. 2-0 count. Still 2-0. Just one out. And again, the bat batter is Grace uh, Lowry. Let's see if she can have fun with one out here. Hard at ball. Right field. Caught by Campbell. And that'll be an out number two. So nice catch by Whitney Campbell. And Contra. Two outs. Three to nothing though, an RBI single, or an RBI out. 
sack fly to uh, right field by Glacier Howard. Top of the order, Anna Bacall, and 1-0 uh, count. Three to nothing, Greenfield on top in the bottom of the fourth. Oh, one out count. And Collins on second base. Grounder, woo! Almost hit the first base coach. He had to get out of the way quickly. Rip down the line. <laughs> one, two, one count. Woo! Quick on his feet. Here comes the pitch. Grounder, Juan's able to field it herself, throws it over to first for out number three. So there we go. Damage is done though. As Greenfield Green Wave score three runs in the bottom of the fourth, we'll go to the top of the fifth inning. You're at the Greenfield Green Wave base, uh, softball field, where the score is in the top of the fifth inning, three to nothing, Greenfield on top. Holland does have uh, nine strikeouts on the night. And Penardi swinging a miss. Just a little above the ball there. On deck is Gabby Adams. Waiting is Haley Hakoski. And that will be strike number two, fouled back. 0 2 count. Here comes the pitch from Pollen and wind up now. And gets away from her. One and two count. So Penardi still has to protect and swing at anything close, but she's got to wait for hers. Allen delivers. Penardi gets a, gets a hold of it, but I think a uh, nice catch there by Carla Blanchard. Short stop for the wave. That'll be out number one. And that will bring up Gabby Adams. On deck is Elia Koski. And waiting is Rainer Wanze. So, Adams is over at second base tonight for the, uh, the Red Hawks. Shows bump, pulls it back. One and no count. Here comes the pitch, swing and a miss. Nice pitch by Pollen. Adams just needs to get a hold of that now. Evens up the count one and one. Here comes the pitch. Ooh, lays off that one. Good job by Adams. Good eye by her. Makes the count two and one. So good hitters count here. Ball and delivers. High for ball number three. So now Adams has kind of a pitch to give. And I'm sure Paul will try to throw anything in the strike zone. And try to get Adams to chase here. 3-1 count. Here comes the pitch. High right, for ball four, so Adams will get on base for the Red Ox. Just one out. And Hakoski 
You can get the bats rolling here. So good job by Adams. Drawn that walk. And we'll see if Haley Okoski can get on base and get a hit here. She's over at third base for the Red Hawks tonight. And Pollen will deliver. Shows Bunt. Pulls it back and a stolen base, base by Gabby Adams. Good job by her. She'll be at second now. One and no count. So now runner in scoring position with just one out here. On deck is Raina Wanze. Swing and a miss. Oski pulled her head there. One and one count. It's definitely a big at bat. Vaughn will deliver. Swing and a miss. One and two count. So really good pitcher's count here. Have a pitch to play around with. Koski shows bunt, pulls it back, and that will make the count two and two. Good job by Koski. One of the seniors for the Red Hawks, and we will be celebrating senior night tomorrow against Mount Greylock. Koski throws bunt, and she can't quite get it down, so that will be a strikeout. Number 10 for Kenzie Pollen on the night. And that'll be two outs. So pitcher versus pitcher here. Mono versus Imano. Two outs. See if Wanze can get that better. And she gets a hold of it. And third baseman will field it. Throws it over to first for out number three. So the Greenfield Green Wave get out of the fifth inning with no damage done. And we'll go to the bottom of the fifth where the score is still three to nothing. Greenfield on top. And the batter will be number 19, Ainsley Flynn. All right, so three to nothing, Greenfield on top. Swing and a miss. Nice pitch by Reyna. Oh, one count. Wanze to deliver. High and outside for ball number one, one and one. On deck is Kenzie Pollen, and waiting is Carly Blanchard. Shortstop for the wave. Flynn is behind the plate for Kenzie Pollen. So 2 1 count after that pitch. Here comes the pitch. High and inside. Three and one. And called strike. Three, two, full count now for Ainsley Flynn. Definitely a big fan section out here tonight supporting both of these teams comes the pitch grounder over to shortstop Steele will field it throws it over to first for out number one good job by St Skyler Steele giving it over to Pinardi there and that will bring up Kenzie Pollen the pitcher for the wave Holland's pitched very well here tonight. And Wanze, other than the last inning with a couple of errors, so she's pitched well as well. Comes the pitch. 
The only thing that got to her last inning was two walks, which ended up being two of the runs uh, for the wave. So, one and no count. Here comes the pitch. Paul and hits it up the middle. Steele will field it, throws it over first for out number two. What a job by Skylar Steele grabbing that one and throwing it over to Penardi for out number two. Steele's got the hot seat on the night as a lot of grounders over to her, and they've been hit hard, so she's making some very good plays. And it's with two outs, that will bring up uh, Carly Blanchard, shortstop for the Greenfield Green Wave. Here comes the pitch. High and outside for ball number one. That one just gets away from Raina there. Infield had a long game last night against the ten, uh, against Hampshire. Didn't really, hasn't really gotten to him yet though. They've been playing well. Went 10 innings. So. Tier 7 6 on the season. They gave Greenfield their only loss. That'll be a 3 0 count for Carly Blanchard. Let's see if she has a go ahead. Ponze will have to throw it down the middle here. here comes the pitch. Ball four, so Blanchard walks again. But you're not happy with the call. So four straight pitches and uh, yeah, walk there for Blanchard. And that will bring up number one, Gloria McDonald. She's in center field for the wave here tonight. That one gets away. Blanchard will take out the second and have a standing up steal. So another running runner in scoring position for the wave. But we do have two outs in the bottom of the fifth inning. So hopefully Frontier is able to get out of it and we'll go to the top of the sixth. But who knows? Here comes the pitch. I'll be in the dirt. And Blanchard almost took off to third there. Fifield with a nice stop. She's done a nice job behind home plate. Behind home plate there tonight. And Wanzi delivers. Grounder back to Wanzi. She fields it, throws it over to first for out number three. What a play by Reina Wanze. And that will end the fifth inning where it is three to nothing Greenfield on top of Frontier. And the batter is Whitney Campbell. Campbell. The right fielder for the Red Hawks. She made a nice catch earlier in the game. And one and out count, Paul delivers. Swing and a miss. Comes the pitch. Woo! Yes, she did. 0-2 oh, or one and two count for Campbell. Ball and delivers. All oh, strike three, and that will bring up Ashley Taylor. That'll be strikeout number 11 for Kenzie Pollen on the night. Taylor kind of needs to get things going here for the Hawks. I mean, we got one out, and Frenchie's kind of down to their last five of lives, you could say. With the Greenfield uh, wave on top by three. Taylor gets a hold of that one, rips it down the line, but just as foul, so.
Oh, one count, one gun here. And Paulin will deliver. Pop up out of play. Luckily did not hit one of uh, either Ben and I's car, so. <laughs> that one got past the netting, so very lucky. Sounded like it hit the dirt. So 0-2 oh count. Paulin will get a new ball. Taylor's got to see it and drive it. Here comes the pitch from Paulin. High for ball number one. Good job by Ashley Taylor laying it off, laying off that one. One and two count. Paulin delivers. Evens it up, two and two now. See if Taylor can have fun with one. That almost rhymes. And Paulin will deliver. Grounder down the third baseline will go foul again. Good job by Ashley Taylor staying alive. Two and two count still. And Bear Country's here, and FCAT, and a whole bunch of fans from Frontier and Greenfield. So, two very good teams going at it. Frontier gave Greenfield their only loss on the season earlier this season at Frontier. Taylor lays off that one, 3 2, full count. Good eye by Taylor. deliver. She gets a hold of that one. That one will go foul. So good job by Ashley Taylor. Sticking with it. Two, three, or three, two full count. <laughs> Here with one out. Down the line, base it. Oh. Just foul. Taylor's got a hold of it, though. Long at bat. Just got to stick with it. Still 3 2 full count. And Pollen will deliver. Ball four, good, good job by Ashley Taylor laying off that one and she'll get on base for the Frontier Red Hawks. So one out and Ashley Taylor reaches first. What, what an excellent battle and good job by Taylor winning it. And that'll bring up Lou Fightfield. <laughs> Frontier's bench. I'll be called. Strike one. <laughs> oh, one count. Taylor delivers. Er, Holland delivers. Taylor took off the second almost there. Oh, two count for Delaney Fightfield. Hunter's bench making some noise. And here comes the pitch from Pollen. Good job by Fightfield. Taylor will take out the second and good heads up running 
by Ashley Taylor. Puts her in scoring position now for Delaney Fifield. It's a big at bat. See if Fifield can put it in play. One, two, count. Just one gone. On will deliver. She gets a hold of it. Woo! Bounce off both of the backstop. Or both of the, part of the backstops there. And um, still one two count. But Ashley Taylor in scoring position now at second base for Delaney Fightfield. On deck is Skyler Steele. Comes the pitch. Low for a ball. Good job by Fightfield laying off that pitch. Evens it up two and two. Ballin trying to get her to chase anything close. Here comes the pitch. Fightfield gets a hold of it. Drops in. Nice catch by Carly Blanchard. Wow. What a catch. Oh man, I thought that was dropping for sure. And Taylor will take off the third. Ashley Taylor heads up base running. Steals third. I mean, it's in play, so. And the rumps are gonna talk it over. There should be no reason she's not able to take it off, take off the third there. And they're going to call her out. That is ridiculous. Um, <laughs> that is not the right call, but that'll end the sixth inning three to nothing. <laughs> In the bottom of the sixth inning, that will bring up Ivy Ray, the second baseman for the wave. I'll be inside for a ball. One and no count. On deck is Ellis Benitez, the right fielder for the wave, and waiting is Megan Collins, the first baseman for the wave. Called. Outside for ball two, two and no count. Sun starting to set here. Fly ball into right field, shallow right. And Adams will make the play for out number one. Good job by Gabby Adams. Yeah, I know uh, Greenfield, they've won nine straight games. So their only loss on the season would have been from Frontier. And we covered that game. And the batter's Ellis Benitez. She shows bunt. She will get a strike there. A one count. Nope, that'll be a ball, I guess. One and one now. Nothing falls in front of you. One out. Counts one and one. And the batter is Ellis Benitez. Juan Z delivers. Fouled and will hit the net. I wish Frontier's baseball field had a net like that. Because the amount of baseballs that go into that woods is wild. So the count is two strikes. They actually, uh, the scoreboard had it wrong, so 0-2 count. And now there will be one and two. So. Wanzi delivers. And ooh, almost hits her. <laughs> Just gets out of the way there. Two and two. Evens it up. 
So one gone in the bottom of the sixth inning. Frontier down by three, and they'll go to the top of the seventh at some point. Grounder over to shortstop. Steele will field it, throws it over first, and she'll be safe. I think she was safe anyways, but Penardi just pops out of her glove. So one out, and Alice Benitez reaches first base for the wave. Now bring up Megan Collins for the wave. So three to nothing, wave on top. Hopefully Frontier can get out of this inning with no damage done. Benitez does have some speed. One and no count for Collins. Swing and a miss, or swing and foul tip. So she's got a hold of it. One and one. Benitez at first. Benitez will take off the second, steal. Oh, it hits Benitez. Taylor will bring it in. I think she Steele would have had it if she was able to catch it because Benitez did not slide. But Benitez now at second base with his stolen base. And a one, two count, one gone here in the bottom of the six. Collins has to swing at anything close now. Grounder. Gets past the pitcher, Adams will field it. Throws over first for out number two. So Collins will move the runner. And that'll be two outs. The batter will be Grace Lowry. delivers. Swing and a miss. Lowry's now seen it though. And pulled her head. Wonder if we'll see the lights here. The sun's really starting to set. 0-1 count. Grounder gets past Adams and an RBI single for Grace Lowry. So that will make it four to nothing. Greenfield adds on to their lead. RBI single for Grace Lowry. We'll go to the top of the order. Anna Bacala is the batter. Grounder over to Adams, she'll field it. Goes over to first for out number three. So we will go to the top of the seventh inning scores four to nothing. Greenfield gets one there. Swing and a miss. Skyler steals the batter. The shortstop for the Red Ox. She made some nice plays tonight. And Frontier's down to their last three lives in the top of the seventh. And here comes the pitch. Woo! Steele gets out of the way there. That would have hit her in the knee, but that's that's got to hurt. Pitch Palm's got the heat. On deck is Love Michonne. Here comes the pitch. Whoa, Steele gets a hold of that one. It hits the fence. Steele takes out the second. And never mind. Whew. A long single for Skylar Steele here, starting off the seventh inning. So Frontier has life. Nice hit by Skylar Steele. She got a hold of that one. Let there be life for the Red Ox. Got to score four at least. Here comes the pitch. Inside, good eye by Liv Michon. She's in the cleanup spot. On deck is Sophia Pinardi. 
And waiting is Gabby Adams. John's in left field for the Hawks. Vaughn will deliver. That gets away. Steele will take off the second and get a standing up. Stolen base. So Frontier could take away the shutout at the very least. And Liv Michon, she did get the first hit of the game, I believe. Top of the second inning, so Here comes the pitch from Pollen. Grounder. Collins will feel it. Nice quick grab and snag. And steps on first base, so what a play there by Megan Collins. And that'll be one out. And that'll bring up Sophia Pinardi. Frontier could get a run here. At least break the shutout. It's in the hands of Gabby Adams and Sophia Pernardi. Allen delivers. Woo! Just a little ahead of it. 0-1 count. Here comes the pitch. In the dirt. Nice stop by Ainsley Flynn. Evens it up one and one. Here comes the pitch. Pinardi gets a hold of it. It'll be a steal. Steal will take off the home. She'll be safe. So Frontier gets an RBI single or RBI sack fly to right field and the shutout is broken. Good heads up base running by Skylar Steele. And they're arguing the call, but she is safe. Four to one. And with two outs now, the batter will be Gabby Adams, the second baseman for the Red Hawks. Have fun with two now. On will deliver. Grounder down the foul. First baseline, and out of play. One count. And so we'll just have to straighten that one out. Kenzie Pollen did have 11 strikeouts on the night. Or still does. Fly ball, second baseman will make the catch. So that will end the game. But Frontier gets on the board and makes things interesting. Um, and Greenfield Green Wave with 10 wins in a row on the season. That will, they, I'm not quite too sure what their record is, but they only have one loss to the Frontier Red Hawks, which happened on early in the season and uh, at Frontier. So they will shake hands here. Four to one. Two very good teams going at it. Frontier moves to seven and seven on the season. For the final time, it was Tom Albert, Ben Roberts. And uh, yeah, we will see you guys next time. We'd like to quickly thank our sponsors, though. Albert Hearing Services, there's Albert Hearing Services. They're located at 33rd Dell Street in Greenfield, Massachusetts, as well as all, uh, Gilmore Fair Insurance, Sugarloaf Clips, and uh, Holiday Pizza. We will see you guys next time. For the final time, Tom Albert, Ben Roberts, the score is 4-1. to one. Thank you for watching Frontier Community Access Television. <laughs>